How you doing, YouTube? Eddie Barrios from the Bronx. I'm um, here today to comment on a video that Barani Moon made. It's a great video. She's talking about the uh, quarantine that's going on now in her neighborhood of Bushwick, Brooklyn. Go Bushwick. Uh, I was pretty much born and raised in Bushwick. Kings County Hospital, born and raised. <laughs> um, she's all, there's a lot of people also, she's talking about gentrification of Brooklyn. And um, I think gentrification is good and bad at the same time because um, I was raised in Bushwick. I lived in a lot of neighborhoods in Bushwick. I lived in Bronzeville. I lived in Bed-Stuy. A lot of those neighborhoods now are nearly 50% white and it's just going to get more whiter. But they're also 50% safer and cleaner you know, it, it's sad that when we had these neighborhoods to ourselves, we didn't take care of them. And now we're complaining because the white people are taking them over and actually taking care of the neighborhood. They're keeping their shit clean. It's safer. The crime rate has dropped 50, 60 percent in those neighborhoods, maybe even more. That's because the white people don't live by this stupid code that people of color live by, blacks and Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Snitches get stitches. I'm not a rat. You know what? That's jailhouse bullshit. The majority of motherfuckers that t use that bullshit has never been to jail, but they want to live by this street code, which is fucking stupid, because that's why our neighborhoods were fucked up in the first place when we had them. Bushwick has gotten so much safer. I can't believe how much. When I lived in Brooklyn, that was like motherfuckers used to shoot you just to see you fly up in the air. And now it's safe as hell because white people don't play that shit. Do you ever hear that shit? If you see something, say something. Well, that's what white people do. And they do it anonymously. I lived on one block that had three fucking crack houses. I was a kid. Nobody ever called the fucking cops on them. They sold crack freely for years. I think like seven to ten years later, that's when they got busted. It must have been some white person who moved on the block and called the police because we weren't doing it. And those motherfuckers don't just call once. They'll call every single day until the police have no choice then to do something. Because I hate to hear when, when black people in Brooklyn and the Bronx, they say, oh, the police don't care about us. They don't give a shit about us. I don't believe that. Listen, I believe there's a lot of racist cops who don't give a shit about black and brown people. But you can't condemn a handful of asshole cops and condemn the whole goddamn department because I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe it for a second. It's just that when the cops come to our neighborhoods, and this is not me just speculating. This is speaking from experience. I've seen bad crimes happen in my neighborhood. Cops are called. Everybody saw something, but when asked by the police, nobody knows nothing. Nobody knows shit. They didn't see nothing. Well, I ain't seen nothing. I ain't no rat. Snitches get stitches. I ain't no rat. You know, you got phone lines you can call and, and report shit anonymously. And if you really give a shit about your neighborhood, now that white people are here and they're taking over our neighborhoods, now we give a shit, right? But when we had it to ourselves, we didn't give enough of a shit to clean up the neighborhood and keep it nice and keep it for us. <clears throat> so, for Honeymoon, great video, very nice video. Some of the comments that people talk about in the video, they need to fucking wake up and smell the coffee and open your goddamn mouth because if you live, if you live in an area that there's a lot of crime and I know you see the crime, you can report that shit. You don't need to be standing in the middle of the street talking to a goddamn cop. You can call them. You don't have to give them your name. You can give them an address. If there's a drug house, you can give them the address. You're not a rat. You're a person who gives a shit about your neighborhood. We're not in prison here. This is not jail. That snitches get stitches and rat shit, that shit all came out of fucking Rikers Island and upstate. We're free. And we're free to take care of our neighborhood. 
and try to make our neighborhood safe for our kids. And you know what? Even today, people of color still don't do it. And they wonder why their neighborhood goes to shit. And then y'all get mad when the white people come in and in less than a year after them moving in, the neighborhood is 60, 70% safer, cleaner. And another thing they do, the white people open businesses in the neighborhood. Damn, look at Greenpoint. Look at Bushwick. Look at... They're doing like the Asians. They come in and they open up stores and shit in the hood. Black people, Spanish people, we get money, we leave the hood. Bye-bye. And then we talk that Jenny from the block shit. Jenny from the block. Motherfucker left the block and never went back. That's what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh... Eddie Federos from the Bronx. This is just thoughts that I pop in my head. Unscripted. I'm just speaking from the heart. And, um... Whoever gets mad at me, get mad. It don't matter. The truth is the truth, and this is the truth. We need to take care of our shit a little more better, you know? Then maybe one day you can compare yourself to being just as clean and great as they are. Because it just seems that they they come in and, and they, they put their hands on something and they clean it up. But you guys look at it as a different way. You look at it as they're taking something away from you. They're taking something away from you that you never gave a shit about in the first place. You know? You didn't give a shit enough. 